In this video, we will explore one method of multivariate analysis called principal component analysis. If we go to Tasks Analyze, we see an overview of a different analysis methods that we can perform in the Unscrambler. We have univariate analysis, like descriptive statistics, and we have multivariate analysis. For this video, we will select principal component analysis, or PCA, which is a very common multivariate analysis method. When the dialog box opens, the first tab we have is the Model Inputs tab, where you have to define the data that will be analyzed. Here we'll choose our P's data. For rows, we'll select all, but for columns, we'll only be using our sensory measurements. We choose to also identify outliers, and we go on to the Weights tab. This tab lets you define if you want to scale your data before an analysis. We can do this by clicking All to select all variables. Then, clicking this button, um, you can divide each value of a variable or column by the standard deviation of a variable or column in order to scale those variables. In the case of spectral data, scaling is usually not recommended. In this case, we could return to unscaled variables by clicking on the constant button. However, since we are using the P's data set and we saw with descriptive statistics that there is a difference in the scale, we will keep the scaling. In the Validation tab, you can choose the method you want to use for validating your analysis. We are going to use cross-validation. By clicking Setup, we can choose a specific type of cross-validation. Here we will choose a random CV with 10 segments, which means we will split the samples into 10 groups, and this means each group will have 6 samples. And we click OK after this. Thus we finish, and we see that we get the results for our principal component analysis, where we have an overview of our results with different plots. If we for example look at the first plot, which is a scores plot, we can make it bigger by clicking on the cross and holding and dragging to make the plot bigger. The scores plot gives us information about our samples. It's usually a good idea to color the samples based on certain groups that we are interested in. We can do this by doing right click, sample grouping, and then we choose a category variable. And we will use time in this case, which is the category variable that we defined earlier. We can choose to have the samples labeled with their names instead of being labeled by the group they belong to. So here we can see that there are sample clusters or groupings when we analyze the data.